Come draw with me. G'day. Today we're going to be learning how to draw simple shapes. First up, let's go with the circle because it's the shape that has one side because we all know the shape with no sides is called a one dimensional line. And that's just a really skinny stick. So first up, let's draw a circle. Now this circle is a little bit wobbly and also it's a bit small, so we might draw a bigger one. This one is also a bit wobbly and he looks a little bit lonely, don't you think? I think we should give him a little friend. Wait, are we, are we, might, we might colour in a couple of them. Now if you're drawing a circle and you kind of get halfway and get bored, you can do that too. That's a C. C? And then you can do the same thing but like up the other way. And now if you really want to experiment with your circles, you can make them just a little bit like wibbly wobbly. Oh, that's, that's very wobbly. <laughs> but make sure that you, you don't draw any more than two bits of hair on top of your circle, otherwise then it doesn't look as good. Definitely. Then two more little circles hiding behind the big circle. They're so sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> and then we draw some jagged circles. Just like so. And then maybe just another half a little circle. Maybe there's a butt hiding inside that circle and it's dark in there. And oh, eyebrows! No, I mean um, half circles, just scribbly ones. That's how you draw a circle, you know, it's quite simple if you really think about it. <laughs> oh, I didn't draw my teeth. It's me. Anyway, uh, let's, let's go on and we'll, we'll draw the next shape that has two sides. So if you're going to draw a shape with two sides, there's a mosquito in here. Get away from me. Don't touch me. He's tiny. You can't see him. He's over there now. He's hiding. Just like the butt. Um, <clears throat> so the, 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 the two sides, you've got one side and then you've got the other side. Now we might draw this sideways because that looks too much like a football. Not in the mood for sports. So you can see there's one side at the top, which you should draw thicker. And then there's another side at the bottom. And you also should draw that thick too. Just a, a, a th <laughs> Simon, you can't say thick bottom. <laughs> That's not allowed. So there we go. So there, there's two because you can't you can't leave them alone. Then of course if you draw another, just so some more circles because you know we missed the circle. My pen's running out. If you shake it to get all the ink down to the bottom, that works, right? It kind of does. Anyway, then of course you want to add some more lines. That's how you draw a two-sided circle. What is that called? An almond? Beautiful, amazing shapes just here. Absolutely gone. I'm gorgeous, aren't I? <laughs> almond? I think almond. Let's move on to a three-sided shape. Got to go back and do my real job. Whoa, the chair just broke. It's okay. It's still stable. So a triangle. Now, we, ooh, this one's got a little hat. We don't need that little hat. You don't want to keep your triangle all by itself in the middle of the giant whiteboard. And if you accidentally draw yourself as a slightly nervous looking scarecrow. <laughs> that's so cool. I think I need a hat in this picture. Maybe like a big sun hat, you know, like a flippy floppy hat. You know the song? Jingle jangle scarecrow with the flippy floppy hat. No flippy floppy hat would be complete without a few flowers. Oh, wow, it's really hard to look at you and draw on at the same time. In fact, it's nigh on impossible. Nylon impossible. Speaking of stockings. <laughs> so disturbing. <laughs> Imagine if this is what humans looked like. Some great fishnet stockings there. Nylon impossible to get wrong. For more fashion advice, subscribe and like this video. Thank you so much for breathing. Remember, be kind, be curious and stay awesome.